All right, we're live and we can go ahead. So welcome everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. And thank you so much to my wonderful client, Colleen, for sharing her story and her experience with the anti-arthritis method and program with you today. So as some of you know, who have been in my community for a little while, I do have a program called the anti-arthritis method where I work with my clients uh, naturally and holistically to get their pain and arthritis symptoms under control. And Colleen is one of my clients who is going to be graduating from her three month stint in the anti-arthritis method program here right away. And she's here today to share her experience in the program, you know, where she was at before she started and what that experience was like with her and how she's doing now. So welcome so much, Colleen. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. So Colleen, I know everyone, of course, will want to know, um, because I'm sure a lot of people listening will be, really be able to relate to this, but can you tell us a little bit about um, the type of arthritis you have and what kind of symptoms that you were experiencing before joining the anti-arthritis method program? I have RA, I have rheumatoid arthritis, and I also have fibromyalgia. And um, before I started, I had a lot of pain in my feet and my knees, and I do have um, bone on bone on my right knee. So that's a little, I have OA, or, um, osteoarthritis in that. So that one's a little bit more stubborn than the other one. Um, I also, I could not lose weight no matter what I did. Um, I have difficulties moving and I know how important moving is with arthritis. Um, I had issues where I just couldn't exercise and I used to exercise a lot actually. And then, um, like going to the grocery store or going to visit our daughters. Um, if we walked a lot, I had to hold on to somebody or something. Um, and the biggest thing besides the pain was I was exhausted both physically and mentally. And it really, until going through the program, I didn't realize how it affected me mentally until I started this and got done, but it really did. I was exhausted a lot. <laughs> yeah, I hear that so much because it's, I think it's one thing is pain is exhausting, period, on its own because yeah. it takes so much energy out of us. But so physically it's exhausting, but it's also really mentally exhausting yeah. because it's everything is so much more of a struggle just to get through the day. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely hear it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there are so many people who are hearing this that I can absolutely relate to that because I hear this all the time. And that's also one of the hallmarks of not just any kind of arthritis, but autoimmunity in general. And yes. you had also mentioned you have fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. And that's also really common when we have an autoimmune condition. And sometimes like, it's one of those awful conditions that likes to piggyback on top of the uh, rheumatoid arthritis as well. So, um, and then to have osteoarthritis at the same time is yes. also really common, but it's kind of that triple whammy that can really, really slow a person down. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for sharing that. And I'm assuming before we met, because that was only like a few months ago now, yeah. but what did you try so far, like over the years to try and manage your, your symptoms that you were having with the RA and the fibromyalgia? Well, the fibromyalgia, well, I've had, I had fibromyalgia first and I had that for a long time and I did well with it. Um, I was diagnosed with the RA three years ago and that's when things kind of like you say, they piggyback and it just took a turn for the wrong direction. Um, so I just started researching, you know, food's a big thing and all these diets and this and that. And so I mostly tried to follow the Mediterranean diet. Um, I tried to limit gluten, dairy, sugar. Um, and then I was also prescribed my was diagnosed with RA, um, anti-inflammatories prescribed twice a day. I had to take the one in the morning and one at night. And did you find that they were giving you relief at all? Or was it limited? Um, 
In the beginning, it was a struggle because they put me on hydroxychloroquine and that takes four to six months to take effect. So literally I was just taking the prescribed anti-inflammatory. So the first couple of months was real, it, it was kind of rocky. Um, it was, it was, it was tough because when you wake up in the morning, you felt like you got run over by a night and didn't sleep at all, even though you slept seven to eight hours. Um, so in the beginning, no, I mean, it did, they did what they could. I mean, it was two times a day and I didn't, I was afraid what it was going to do to my stomach, but I still did it because if I didn't do it, it was a whole lot worse, but then eventually I could get to where I could come off of them, but I never really fully was able to get off of them. Mm -hmm. I told them. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And you had mentioned too that you tried the Mediterranean diet and you tried various food eliminations as well. So any success with any of those? Like how did that go for you? Well, it it was okay, but I didn't fully eliminate everything. I just limited it. So I would I would do well and then I'd be, oh like I want this, I want to have this. But I didn't like leave out completely. Um because it's hard because I didn't know until now what I could substitute to make it still taste somewhat similar and insane. And and so I mean I did okay. But it wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. It's hard to speak to those changes, I think, on our own. And, yes. <laughs> you know, and especially if you don't know what you can have instead, that would give you that same yes. kind of satisfaction as well. It, it makes it hard to stay on that because you want to like what you're eating too. <laughs> That's <Correct>. really important. <laughs> yes, correct. And so, Colleen, I'm sure just like anyone I, I talk to about the program, you know, we're all going to have some kind of hesitations or reservations about it. So can you tell me, um, you know, what kind of hesitations did you have before joining the program? Like anything you weren't sure of? Um, honestly, yes. Um, first off, I was like, well, am I going to like the food? <laughs> and what am I going to be able to eat? Um, and honestly, I was like, am I going to be able to afford this? Um, will I stick with it? It's like every other diet, lifestyle change. Um, you know, you start it, you did it for a while, and then you just kind of fall off the wagon. But I, going into this, I was like, this is going to be a lifestyle change. So I knew going in, this is something I've got to continue to do. This isn't do it for three months or whatever, and then go back to the way you were. No, it's not going to work like me. So I had to have that mindset for myself. I had to set that before I even started. Yeah, I love that. I think that's so important because it's a decision. You know, you have to decide that you're going to do it. And because I have people that will ask, well, what if it doesn't work for me? And I always say, well, it, it will work for you if you do it, but you have to decide that it's going to work for you. You have to decide that you're going to do this process. And we're here to support you. So that's that's yep. where we're coming in. And I know you had mentioned that you've tried other things, but then you've, you know, kind of fall off the wagon or go back to how you used to eat. So what do you think it was about the program that, you know, kept you on track? Well, I learned how you can, like, swap things out and still have, like, I'm a sugaraholic. I love my sugar. And I know sugar's the devil. I know it's terrible and it's bad. Um, but, and I can eliminate that for so long, but then I get to where I got to have something. But what I learned with this, with all the recipes available to us was you had shared one about a strawberry ice cream. I, I like ice cream, but ice cream necessarily didn't like me because I have lactose intolerance. And so with the coconut milk in that, I was like, okay. And mind you, I don't like coconut. I do not like coconut flakes, but coconut milk, I can get behind. I didn't think I could, but 
I did. So I made the strawberry ice cream with the coconut milk and maple syrup. And every night after I get done eating, I go and I have myself some ice cream. And it it's that satisfaction that I can still have something sweet that's not real sweet, but it, it takes that craving away. Like, and I made... I made strawberry, I've made blackberry, I've made vanilla. I mean, I've done it all. And it just, it, it kept me happy. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And I think sometimes people think, oh, well, this is like a pro like a program where I'm going to have to give up everything I like and I'm going to be eating food I don't like, and I'm going to lose that joy. <laughs> I think food, yeah. joy in eating. And it's not true because no. you will have other food that you really do like eating and it's, not about having a low calorie or a low fat diet or anything like that. You can still eat um, as much as you as you need to and not go hungry and and, and feel satisfied. Um, and I know you had mentioned too that you had trouble before losing weight that you were trying to yes. lose, but that you did end up losing weight on the program. Oh yes, I've lost like twenty pounds since I started. At the yeah. end of the day. and you weren't hungry. And I was not hungry at all. And we don't become calories. <laughs> Correct, which I'm so thankful for because I, I'm i so burnt out of logging food, counting your calories, and all of that. And this was just so much, it didn't even, like I didn't have the pressures of, oh, you got to log what you ate, or what did I eat here? And oh, I can't eat, I can't eat as much this year. No, you can eat as much as you want until you're, Full. I mean, and the food was great. I mean, I love it. I was, I was surprised. I'll admit, I was surprised, but I really did enjoy the food. So I'm gonna still do. <laughs> I, I, that's amazing, and I, I love that. Even though you weren't a coconut fan, you still gave the coconut milk a try. And I did. Realized you actually like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's in my smoothies. It's in everything. <laughs> I love that so much. And Colleen, what was like the first thing you noticed about the program that helped you? Um, probably about three, three or four days in, um, I noticed that, and I know this is going to sound silly. I noticed that I could bend my toes and normally I would struggle to do that. And it was like one morning I was getting ready to get up and I was like, wow. I just wait a minute I could do that where I couldn't I struggled doing it before and then um another thing was energy you know I keep that one day I was at work and I was like wow because my motto was last fall I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired and one day at work I was like wow I actually feel good I actually have energy <laughs> And it was kind of like an aha moment. I love that. It's so amazing how we don't realize sometimes like how bad we feel or we take for granted those little things like wiggling your toes or yes. you know, waking up with and getting out of bed without having this like really long struggle. Yes. Correct. <laughs> it's like, it's like all of a sudden it's like, oh, my yes. body works. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. Yes. I love that so much. That's so exciting. Because yeah. it is, it's, it's, it's a whole it bunch is. of little things that really make a difference. Correct. And little things that you don't think were affected by it. I mean, I had many things change that I was just like, uh, looking back, I was like, wow, I didn't even realize that that affected it. Yeah, that's awesome. And can you tell me, Colleen, what stood out for you in the anti-arthritis method program that was different from some of the other things that you tried? Um, I like having the community to where if you're going along, because it is overwhelming in the beginning, but once you start it, it got real easy. It, it truly, truly did. And it didn't take long. Um, I like that fact of being able like, to go to a group and search for um, questions that somebody else already had, maybe that I'm looking for 
Um, I was able to find everything um, doing the steps process that made it easier with the uh, handouts, um, the guides that really did it. It just, it was so much easier because I wasn't doing it alone. Mm -hmm. And I had something I could go back to if I had a question. Yeah, absolutely. And I know like statistically, we all tend to stick to things better when we have like a plan to follow and other yes. people that can support us and we can be accountable to because I know it's like as humans we can start something new and we're all excited and gung-ho and we get off to a really good start and then it's kind of like well I don't really feel like doing it today and don't yeah. fucking <laughs> so you know what difference does it make and that's just being human I think sometimes people think oh I have no self-discipline and I can never stick to anything and it's it's not true. You just need the right support when it comes to it, I think. Yep. I yeah. agree. And what can you say, uh, and I guess, what would be something that you're really proud of in terms of what you've achieved in this process, Colleen? Um, well, the number one thing is I don't take my anti-inflammatories anymore. Um, I have not taken any since about mid-June. I still take my hydroxychloroquine but um the, I was concerned with the anti-inflammatories because I had been on them for three years mm -hmm. and I was just concerned what they could do to my stomach because sometimes they would upset my stomach um so that to me was like a milestone just being able to stop um stop using those um another thing was I'm I'm moving again I'm walking, um, just, just day-to-day -day things that normally, that you, a normal human could do, like cleaning the house or doing dishes and stuff like that. I mean, it sounds, I mean, everybody would be happy to get rid of all of that, but I felt guilty not being able to do that and putting it all on my husband, but I had a great support. He's been a great support for me. And so now it's just like, okay, I can do a little bit more. And it's like, every time we go to the grocery store now, he pulls the, pushes the buggy out and he's like, here, so you can, I'm like, nope, I'm walking alone. I don't need it. <laughs> I love that. That's so exciting. And what would you say your life is like now compared to where you were three months ago? What's uh, changed for you? Honestly, I'm happy. Because my mood was, I was not in a good place. I really, really wasn't. I I was not happy at all. And that's what I said after doing this, looking back, I was like, wow, what a difference mentally. I mean, it really affects you mentally. But yes, I am happy. Um, you know, I lost weight. Um, it just, it's nice to get up and get going. And then I'm like, wow, I really feel good today. This is a good day. Don't get me wrong. I still have bad days, but that's, that's, I mean, I think we're all still going to have some bad days, but those bad days don't compare to anything like what they used to be. Yeah. And is there anything that you're back doing now that you weren't a few months ago? Uh, the walking. Cause I used to walk miles and miles. Um, and I started out, we started out doing a half mile. I said, let's, let's see if I can do a half mile. And I did a half mile and it was, it was a struggle. But the next day my husband's like, okay, half mile. And I was like, I'm tempted to do the mile. So we did, and it, it was a struggle, but I mean, I did not stop and I didn't have a whole lot of pain afterwards. I mean, yeah, I had, I had the pain of a workout, not the pain of the RA. Yeah, big difference. Yes, big difference. Big, big difference. Yeah, that's wonderful. I'm so glad to hear that because I know how um, hard that is. It, like you said, mentally, when you're dealing with pain and yes. lack of ability to move and that, you know, crushing fatigue, uh, that really gets a person down. It's really hard to like feel happy when our body is hurting like that. And so to be able to get past that and 
feel good and move again and you know have that energy yeah I'm so excited for you that now you're you're happy and yeah. able to do those things again and and feeling like yourself again I think yeah. is so important it is and having more confidence because of this how I felt and with the knees um balance has always been an issue the last couple of years and so you're always afraid you're going to fall or have, you know, so it gave me the confidence. Do I still have a little bit of that? Yes, because I'm still dealing with the knee, but even the bad knee has come so far from what it, what it did. And my confidence level has gone way up. So, I mean, it is, it's, it's a game changer. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you again, Colleen, for sharing your story today. I feel like we can just drop the mic right there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, on, we can. on your last word there. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I really appreciate it. And I know that anyone who is watching this uh, video and you're hearing your story is going to be really encouraged and it's going to give them hope as well. So thank you again for sharing this. Thanks for coming on today. And I'm just, I'm so excited you're staying. on as an alumni investor and yeah. be part of our, our community and um, I'm just happy that I can continue to support you as you move forward in your journey and um, yeah I just really appreciate that you are here today to tell everybody about your experience so thanks again and, um, you yeah, thank you everyone for listening um, yeah and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, Colleen, and we'll see you in the group. Okay. <laughs>